My name is Glenn Durrant and he's my masterclass on the grip. So, many, many ways I believe that you're actually born with a really good grip. I get frustrated when people say, how do you hold the dart? I want to hold the dart. There's so many different ways and that can affect how the dart can fly in the air. And let's look at Nathan Aspinall first of all. Steve Beaton even, they have that unique way of throwing where they're actually just holding the stem of the dart only. So they'll bring the dart back as normal but just using this. Then you get many people, and very much like myself, who held every single finger on the dart. I always felt like I had the real comfort of when throwing a dart with every dart on the angle of the dart. I was in total control of the throw on the point of release. Now, the point comes into it as well these days. Modern technology has changed so much. And on many darts now, they even have the grip, so people are actually holding the grip. And that's when you'll see people understack the dart. And what I mean by understacking is if you hold the point of the dart, or very, very low, you'll see, as you throw the dart, it will actually understack, very much like Phil Taylor did. He had that unique way of just a couple of fingers on the dart, did Phil, bringing it back, very similar to that. So it was very, very important that they got the grip correctly. Again, the standard one, Eric Bristol, very famous, with a finger up in the air there. But I'm a big believer, how you pick up a pen is how you would grip a dart. I think it's really important not to try and grip a dart like Nathan Aspinall, not to pick up a dart like Steve Beaton, that you need to do it. But people get inconsistencies. Many sort of people who come to see me regarding darts, they'll get the inconsistency of the throw because they don't have a good grip. They can walk in like this, or when they throw, they'll move the fingers off at times like that. So again, without the fear of repeating myself, some people are just born with a fantastic grip. So there's no right or wrong. If someone told me that the greatest of all time would be very much with the two fingers like Phil Taylor, who understack the dart, He's absolutely transformed the game. Whereas someone like Luke Littler right now, you know, his game's got that beautiful grip, but his points, enormous. It's as if the, you know, the dart had just gone in, but he has this incredible backswing on the throw, that beautiful release. And when you're gripping a dart, it's very, very important to just feather it. When you're tight and when you're taut and you're gripping onto the dart, that's when that seven foot nine and three quarter throw can feel so much longer. So it's really important just to try and feather the, the grip of the dart. But gripping is so, so important. A little bit of trial and error as well. But my, for my masterclass, don't copy off anybody. So now let's look at the makeup of a dart. Now I was one of the very, very few players who used a pair flight. That's what we call a standard flight. And pretty much eight out of 10 players, certainly when I was on the scene, would use the standard flight. Technology in darts has just changed absolutely everything, which then takes me on to the stem. I mean, look at the best player in the world right now, Luke Humphreys. I mean, his dart is like a javelin. It's very, very long, the stem. Where, you know, some players, they just throw with a barrel only. And I'm not gonna harp on too much about the, the barrel because there's just so much technology out there. Fat barrel, thin barrel, long point, grippy point, grippy stem. I mean, there's so much out there that even dart manufacturers now are offering a service where you go on trial by throwing the darts because there's just so much out there on offer. It's really what suits you. The knurled dart is really important now. So you're knowing that you're holding the point of the dart in the same place every time. That's really important. And don't get me started on the points. Like I said, the most talked about player in the world right now, Luke Little, his points are so long. You know, when I first started all the way back in the history lessons, you know, the points were just, everybody had the same, and you could barely see the dart when it landed in. So the difference with these longer points is where the dart flies in the air, the trajectory of the dart. But also, if you've got a long point, when it lands in the dart, you can still see the treble 20 gleaming. Again, the old fashioned dart, when you threw in the barrel was sticking in that treble 20, it was then very, very difficult to get another couple of darts in there. That's why some of the averages from the 80s and 90s, you've got to be admired. And again, the size of the boards, the, everything sort of changes you're going on now. So I'm not one for people changing darts. I'm a big believer, it's how you throw a dart and going out and buying the new Phil Taylor darts, not gonna make you a better player. 
but I think these days it's really important to find out what style suits you, what style, remember the bit about the grip, so you know if you had the torpedo style that might really suit the way you grip or the straight dart where that might suit yours, the grippy dart. I mean going back to Terry Jenkins he had zero grip on his dart so there's just so much out there for people and that will make a difference on how the dart will fly in the air. And what I would recommend you do is, there's so much now on um, playing online darts, is have a few games with a few different sets of darts. But remember, you can pick up a set of darts, it's a bit like having a bit of sugar. Sometimes it can be a short hit rush. So don't think that, wow, I've suddenly found my darts now. Just get ones that you feel really confident in. But apart from Peter Wright, what I would recommend you do is if you get a set of darts, keep them and work on your, your grip work on that stem, work on the flight, work on the point, and then stick to the dart. And that is my masterclass on tungsten. <laughs>